Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's Nadir. And Coach Fatima. Outstanding person in relationships.com. And I just wanted to touch on a couple of things today. Um, they would be some questions that frequently get asked. And one of those is Do I keep score of like different things? Like, for example, do I keep score of what's bought for my co wife? Do I keep score of different things like what cars does she drive where does she get to go things like that and the answer would be no I do not I don't keep score with anybody because I like to stay at my own business and stay in my lane with things so I think it does a disservice if I know everything I don't think we're created to know everything about everybody so it's good to not keep score because it is almost like you're trying to, it seems like it's a, a thing where people feel trapped or you're trapping them into doing something wrong so you can be mad. So I don't keep score of um, anything like that. That's not of me to do. And I don't like doing that. Now, to talk about other things, for example, does she keep score of other stuff? Yeah, everybody keeps score. Yeah. All right, so it's not just a blanket. No, I don't keep score of anything. Like, you can run all over me and, you know, my nights don't do this or my times don't come in and I'm gone two or three days at a time, but only at this house one day. No, that's not, no, that's not, right. um, don't happen. Right. So keeping score in that area, obviously, is in the interest of justice and fairness. So, yeah, I think everybody has some portion or part of that. Yeah, pardon my hand, but dealing with this new construction and, being in the Midwest, when you deal with potholes, there might be some shakery going on with the camera. <laughs> right. Um, but everybody keeps score. I mean, we all keep score. We keep score on how we're feeling. We keep score of um, different things um, that are that's going on within yourself, within your family, your children. You know, that can cause you to like some children better than other children, especially when they get older <laughs> or get grown. Yes, right? We yes. do that as parents, so let's not act like we don't keep score because the ones that help us by helping themselves and by doing better. We like them a little bit more. We love all of them. You know, it's hard to, to measure that. But we can say that we, yay, I definitely like my daughter over my son. Or I like my son <laughs> over my daughter on something. Because she has a strength here and he has a weakness or vice versa. So, just giving that example. So, we all keep score. But, but. usually it's meant, um, do you keep some type of, are you keeping track? Are you nitpicking? Are you being yes. petty? And all that kind of stuff. That's usually the, the spirit in which that question is asked. Now, what is... um. The, another question that you usually get sometimes. Another one is people will ask me, do you know all her intimate business of like when she pays her bills or one of her appointments or things of that nature? No, I do not. I don't um, I know what affects, I, I'll know what affects my family. So if there's a trip that's coming up where I might not see her you know, my co-wife, and I, I won't have to wonder where she is. I know, oh, she's out of town. I don't have to know the state. I don't have to know how long. But as long as everybody's safe, then I would know that because if I don't know something like that, I might worry about um, her well-being or, uh, you know, my husband's well-being. So in that, in that instance, yes, I do know. But if it's something about when is she going to go get an annual checkup, and how long it's going to take and what parts are they going to look at. I don't know those things. So sometimes people come up and ask me, well, you know, do you guys go to the doctor together? Or does she go to the doctor today? Or do you go, you know, does she go to the store and the bank and the woo and the law? And I'm like, I don't know those things because they, it doesn't benefit me to know something such as that. And it's petty. It's really one thing I, I despise amongst men or those who are males is that you run back and forth running your mouth that's usually <laughs> yeah. seen as a messy feminine trait <laughs> not just you know it's not only a feminine trait obviously right but it's not something neither do women do all right that's something that's really childish and immature and there are many people men and women included that need some maturity leave okay yes. just to be real but to go to one house and say oh this was going on at the plane and Put, you know, cause friction Absolutely that way. Not. If you're dealing with friction in the house, then enjoy the peace in the other house if you have it. If you 
have friction in both houses. Do what you need to be to expand and become who you need to be in order to deal with that in a better fashion. So, and again, that's just important basics. So, again, it's, it's petty to me for that to, to happen. True. Why, like, she's not her personal assistant no. and vice versa. So, you know, no. And they're staying in different homes. So, that's how we operate. But, um, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, sometimes people just want to know. Sometimes they just want to know <laughs> or sometimes they're just, you know, being nosy. Indeed. <laughs> More likely than not. <laughs> yes, but, I find it to be true. <laughs> prayerfully, you know, you got some benefit out of what we shared and um, of course, you know you could always connect with us directly. Yes. Outstandingpersonalrelationships.com. Um, remember that a wish changes nothing, but a decision changes everything. And adding value to yourself is always priceless. Assalamualaikum. Right, Peace. Assalamualaikum. Peace.